Today is the second day of the Lenten season. The Vatican II Missal says, The ashes are scarcely washed clean from our foreheads. In this second Lenten Mass, we get down to work on our spiritual program. My dear brothers and sisters, we have exactly 39 days to go before Good Friday. We have enough time to meditate on the 40 days and 40 nights that our Lord spent in the Garden of Gethsemane before His death by crucifixion. Yesterday, the whole Christendom started the 40-day journey of penitence. Yesterday, we started our 40-day Lenten retreat or 40-day Lenten pilgrimage, a deep review of our life. To help us in this effort, the Church points out to us a path that can be summarized in three powerful words. Number one is prayer. Number two is fasting. And number three is almsgiving. Whoever takes this message seriously must also make the commitment to a new life inspired by the gospel values. It is a matter of moving from a superficial life to a deeper interiority, from selfishness to charity, of striving to live according to the model of Christ Himself. And this is our assignment for all of us, including myself. As we enter more seriously into the Lenten spirit, the Gospel reading today reminds us how Jesus informed the disciples about His approaching passion, death, and resurrection. Our Lord knew He must actually die to this world in order to obtain eternal redemption for us. Our Lord instructed the disciples about the meaning of the cross. And the cross that He talks about here is our cross, your cross, my cross, not somebody else's cross, not the cross of Jesus, but our cross. He instructed us about the significance of the cross and why it is necessary for the disciples to carry up or to take up the cross. In the Gospel reading on the second part of it today, our Lord lays down the conditions of discipleship, the price or the cost of discipleship. Our Lord describes the area of concentration and the dimensions of our Lenten journey or program. The liturgy today teaches us that it is the life of the soul that we are concerned with during these days. I have three little points. Number one, a person must learn to deny himself. A person must learn to deny himself. Self-denial is a form of self-sacrifice. It is not easy to deny anything to oneself. Thus, self-denial is like dying to oneself. To deny oneself is to say to oneself, I do not know myself. I will say no to myself. It is to ignore the very existence of oneself by dying to this world. And it is to treat the self as if the self is not important. 
and usually we treat ourselves as if ourself is far and away the most important thing in the world. But if we are to follow the Lord, we must slowly learn to forget the self. He must deny himself. Say no to yourself so that we can say yes to God. The second point, a person must take up his cross daily. A person must take up his cross daily. Our Lord Jesus knew what crucifixion meant. To take up our cross daily, underline daily, not weekly, not monthly, not yearly, but daily. It means to be prepared to endure the worst that man can do to us for the sake of being true to the Lord. That is why when the Lord says, Take up your cross daily, it wants to teach us that Christianity is not easy. Christianity is not for the weak. Christianity is for the strong. Christianity is for the brave. The third and last point. A person must spend his life, not hoard his life. What does this mean? The whole commandment of the world standards must be changed. The questions are not how much can I get, but how much can I give, not what is the safe thing to do, but what is the right thing to do? Not what is the minimum permissible in the way of work, but what is the maximum possible? The Christian must realize that he is given life, not to keep for himself, but to share with others. Not to husband its flame, but to burn it out for Christ and for others. My dear friends, let us continue to persevere in our Lenten pilgrimage. Amen.